Hello everyone and welcome to a new beginner level tutorial on how to make and play with shaders in Godot. Today I'm showing how I develop for my own game. I've been doing some tests on the art style and I wanted to try a cell shader, also known as a tune shader. And I tried to develop something here in Godot that kind of matches what I was looking for and I'm sharing this process with you. Um, so the first question that might pop up is why develop an, a, a custom tune shader if Godot already has one. As you know you might come to a fixed material properties, you have this shader property and you can switch to tune which will give you immediately a kind of a tune shader. Now this is okay but it kind of gives you not much control over how things look. Of course you can uh, change the parameters of the tune shader here which kind of controls the amount of shading but it doesn't allow you, for instance, to change the, the darkness or the brightness of the shaded and the unshaded parts. So I needed more control and that's why I developed my own custom shader. Of course you could play with this, like uh, increasing the emission so that it doesn't look so dark and then lowering the diffuse again. But then you, you kind of mess up how the light reacts when you go to a lit scene with, with lamps. So this was not a good solution for me, so I developed my own shader. So let me show you how to do that. And for this example I'm going to use the material shader graph because I'm going to use some nodes which really benefit from the, from the visual graphs here. Um, so the first thing is we need to load up our texture. So I'm going to use the texture uniform in the fragment shader. Load up my character texture, connect the UV map and connect this to the diffuse channel. And there you go, I have my material in the, in the standard shape again. Um, so for this shader, we're not going to use a fragment shader nor vertex shader, we are going to use a light shader. Because what we are saying here is that we want the material to react to the light in a different way. How the light spreads and, and shades the object. So this is a, what the light shader does. Now one important thing to know is that Godot is not using the light shader until you connect something to it. So once you connect something to it, it's not like he's going to do a small change, he's going to do a drastic change because, because now he's saying, okay, let's start from scratch and, and do everything from scratch. So now you have to connect all the dots to get to the, to the standard shader again. So a standard shader would be, basically the output of a light shader is uh, what kind of uh, light or color is coming out from the material, okay? I haven't understood very well yet what is this sh shadow vector here, but we'll get to that later. Um, so if I disconnect everything, I go back to my sh uh, standard shader model. So let's, but let's begin. The first thing I want to diffuse, which is the color that comes from the fragment shader, right? Is this diffuse here. I want this diffuse to be here. So if, I, if you look at it now, what you have is like a flat, unshaded uh, light shader. This is a big redundant, sorry. Um, so there is no shading here, there is no light effects at all. So we need to account the um, two things. We need to account the light color and the light angle, right? Because if, I, if my light has a different color, I don't want this to be uh, the normal color, the diffuse color, okay? So first let's multiply the vector operator, okay, here he is, multiply. We're going to multiply the diffuse of the light by the diffuse of the object. So this will look exactly the same for now. But if my light is darker, then this will reduce the brightness here. If my light is red, it will be reddish, okay, when it comes out. So it's reacting to light color, but not the angle. <clears throat> so now my diffuse the light color, or we can say almost the light intensity, is going to depend on the direction of the light according to the direction of the normals. So what we're going to do, we're going to use these two with the dot product, the normal of the faces and the light direction. And this will give me um, this value which I'll now be using to interpolate between the light color and black. I'll leave this as 0, 0, which means black. Now I'll connect this here and I'll connect this here. So my light diffuse is now coming from here. And as you see, according to the angle that the light direction does with the normals, now I have my shader again. 
okay and the smooth shading effect when things are not facing the camera they are totally black of course I maybe I don't want this totally black maybe I do but for instance I could come here and increase this a little bit so you see the shading now is more soft and even in unlit areas I have some color right so because this value of the light diffuse is being interpolated means it's going from the range of 0 0.3 is the minimum up to the light diffuse which in this case is white so it should be one and then is multiplying this by the diffuse of the material okay so this is the first step to get a basic light shader done uh, now from this we have to go to our smooth uh, sorry my uh, to our cell shading the tune shader and how to do that <clears throat> well it's kind of simple actually uh, let's go back to our black because we want for now let's it's easier to see things as as totally black and we want to kind of create bands or, or the cell shading comes from from the word cell which means like you know separate part separate um, uh, how to say separate lit areas and unlit areas very defined not with these smooth transactions uh, transition sorry so we are going to do uh, we're going to use a node which is very helpful for this which is this curve remap so this takes a number and outputs a number and I'm not going to change anything it's, it's changes a little bit slightly but not so much so it's kind of a linear so as as this number increases the output increases in, in the same way so what, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change this so that my output is always the maximum all the time as you can see the shading effect changing and then the minimum is also going to be st stabilized here always static until almost it meets the the max again all right so I don't want this curve to be smooth because or else I get these smooth transitions here which are not very typical in smooth shading we want a very drastic transition like this all right so it kind of goes from one color to the other very fast okay so now depending on when I position these two points I get my uh, I get more or less unlit and lit areas so I'm gonna use more or less like this okay so this is almost close to the to the standard tune shader now let's see how my point in doing this was to not have these uh, very dark areas so now it's getting dark because this vector is coming from zero I don't want this from zero let's say I want this 0 0.6 so now I have a very tune, a tune shader which is more smooth it's almost like the new Zelda which I love that, that effect on the player you see so it's very smooth on the, on the sides very soft uh, but still a very defined transition uh, without any smoothness to it okay so this is a, a very simple cell shading now from here we could do another thing which sometimes is used in shell, uh, cell shader um, effects which is the outline now the outline is a little bit uh, more complicated and there are many ways to do outlines in shaders um, I think I'm not sure I might be wrong but I think it in Godot is a bit difficult because we don't have yet uh, different render passes which is a technique used many times to do this kind of outlines and glows and, and everything so we can cheat a little bit here in our light shader to achieve that um, so let's disconnect this for a while we know this is done okay so now let's try to work on our outline <clears throat> so basically for the outline I'm going to use normal map uh, sorry a dot product again where I'm going to cross the normals with the I vector now if you take a look at this um, well actually can I take a look because this is a, this is a scalar um, so basically let me see how can I show you we can create a vector interpolate again from 0 to 1 so from white to 
from black to white okay so what this is doing as you can see here it's almost creating an outline all the edges where the normals are facing the opposite direction like a perpendicular direction from the view angle of the screen is creating this black um, black outline so this is when this value is really low it goes to black otherwise it goes to white now we can control this better this shading here using exactly the same technique technique with a curve remap so let me connect the curve remap again now I want more black and then again I want a very sudden transition like this let me put a little bit more black okay uh, okay like this right let's just try it out to see how it looks so this is not uh, the rest of the light shader was not connected so let's just take a look at the character here you see you have a kind of a outline according to the angle of the camera and the normal of the faces okay so now I have um, again a vector that goes from black to white so if I multiply this by the outcome of this one which was the, the cell shading effect then again I'm going to have a kind of a mix between these two I'm going to multiply them so it's gonna like cross them I have my cell shader and my outline and boom okay so now I have the cell shader and I have my outline everything in one of course this is not really an outline it's more like an inline because the outline is not outside as it should be a real outline goes outside the shape this in this light goes inside you're kind of shading it differently so it's a bit of a cheat to achieve uh, to achieve what we need in a kind of a simple way I'm not sure if any of you know how to do a better outline shader in Godot please do share because I'm really curious about it okay so let's get here okay so here he is now with cell shading and outline all right that's it if you have any questions or comments please do ask or leave it in the comment section below and i hope this was useful see you next time bye bye